this was my great grandfather's uh, lawnmower from about 1980 to 1982. I don't know if the right year, but anyway, it hasn't run in about six years. Me and my dad and mom have tried to get it running for about for a couple years ago, several times actually, and we re we like uh, rebuilt the carburetor and stuff, and it still just hasn't run. So I decided, since most of the problems are with the carburetor. I don't need to use gasoline. I run off propane, so I bought a propane tank. I've always wanted one. It was kind of just an excuse to get one so I can build my th flamethrower. But anyway. Oh, I guess I could also use it on a, on a, on a, uh, a forge. Anyway. So, I've kind of ripped it apart because there's a lot of other problems with it, like spark and stuff. But I've got those all uh, found out and fixed those, hopefully. And let's see if it works. Running the, running the engine off of propane, I find it to be difficult to start it because I'm putting the propane in through the air intake. So it's very easy to push all the air out of the carburetor. Now, if I put it into the fuel intake, I imagine the carburetor might have a better, might do a better job at keeping the mixture right. So that shouldn't be too difficult. Not counting it, keeps a nice, it's a nice little hookup for it instead of just stuffing the pipe down in there because that could fall out while I'm mowing the lawn. I just quickly duct tape these pipes together just to test it, because I'm not going to spend eight bucks on fittings to hook it up properly unless I know it actually works that way. So now it might, might be operational in this state. Let's find out. I have a battery for starting and powering it. I have propane that'll hold my lap. Um, uh, I'll make a, a, a thing to hold it in the back later on, but it's kind of what I got now, though. Oh well.
Now to make a nice mounting place for the propane tank. I've taken a uh, railroad tie, uh, railroad rail holder and some little rail clips and welded them together to make a nice little shelf. Ow. This is heavy to pick up with one hand, maybe a little too heavy. <coughs> anyway, it'll be on there like that. And then I'll have a, a rod sticking up so I can tie the uh, tank onto that rod to hold it steady. Now fastened on there pretty well. Fastened on there very well, actually. I plan on putting a regulator onto it later, so I can have it, uh, so I can get, uh, hopefully, get rid of my problems with fuel mixture. But as for it right now, I think I could be able to mow the lawn with it, maybe at least a little bit, just to test it out. <laughs> 